when you guys go about solving compound inequalities, again, it's really two inequalities. So if it's an and inequality, you really are solving two inequalities, but you're, you have it squished together. So you just sort of do the operation twice instead of once. You can separate them into two separate inequalities, but I just sort of like to do it all in one. So what happens, you guys can sort of draw lines down the middle if you want, but you're still trying to solve for this x value. But instead of just doing it to one side, like doing it to the 2, whatever you do in that middle part, you have to do the 2 and the 5. So what we're going to do first is subtract Five. That will get rid of it in the middle, but this is the weird part where there's three sections or two other places to do it now. So 3 minus 5 gives you negative 2. Remember to bring down your sign. 2x less than or equal to 10. Divide by 2 in the middle. Divide by 2 on the outsides. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 less than 2x divided by 2. It's just x, which is what we want. Less than or equal to 10 divided by 2 is 5. So that's our inequality. It wants us to also graph it. So 0, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8. Negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. So which one gets open? Which one gets closed? Do either of them get an open? Do either of them get a closed dot? Always be looking for those pieces. So it's just greater than negative 1. So open dot at negative 1, less than or equal to. So includes 5, and it's going to be those solutions in the middle. And that's it. So for an or inequality, they're completely two different inequalities just joined together in a sentence with the word or. So you just literally solve them both separately but put them on the same graph. So if we solve for the first one, I would subtract 7 and get negative 2y is less than or equal to negative 6. Divide by negative 2. When we divide by a negative, we need to flip our sign. So this now becomes a greater than or equal to. So y is greater than or equal to. Negative divided by a negative is positive 3. So there's our first inequality. And our second one, I'm going to first move that y over. So 3 plus really 1y gives us 4y plus 10 is less than 4. Subtract the 10 on both sides. Get 4y is less than negative 6. And divide both sides by 4. So it gives you a fraction. You guys can leave it as a fraction. You don't need to necessarily find the decimal as long as you know where to graph it on the number line. So it gives us y is less than negative 2, or not 2 thirds, 3 halves. I just reduced 6 fourths, divided them both by 2. So 3 halves would really be negative 1 and a half. So 0, I'm going to go by halves. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So, greater than 3, or greater than or equal to 3, I'm sorry. To the right, less than negative 3 halves, or negative 1 and a half. Just the less than, so not including. Everything less than, so to the left. And that's it. So number three I'm going to do, do with you just because it's a fraction. It might intimidate you a little bit. 
We had negative 4 is greater than 3 fourths m minus 7, which is greater than negative 7. So you'll see here that their inequality signs are going to the right. That's because they didn't start with the lowest numbers. They started with negative 4 instead of negative 7, which is actually greater. So that's why their inequality signs are flipped. But we're still going to solve it the same way. So I'm going to deal with this last, and I'm going to add the 7 first. Remember, all three sections to keep it balanced. So negative 4 and 7 is 3. 3 is greater than 3 fourths m, which is greater than 0. So this is really 3 fourths times m. So, we would technically need to divide by 3 fourths to undo that operation. So, we have to remember that dividing by a fraction is really multiplying by the reciprocal. So, we're going to multiply all three sections by the reciprocal, reciprocal of 3 fourths, which is 4 thirds, to all three sections. So, 4 thirds times 3, you can make these into fractions if you want to, by putting them all over 1. So, tops with tops, bottoms with bottoms. So, 4 times 3 is 12, over 3 times 1 is 3. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 thirds times 3 fourths just gives us 1m. So I'm just going to leave that as m. And 0 times anything, or 0 times 4 thirds, is just going to be 0. So I'm going to rewrite this so that my lower number is first, and then both my inequality signs will be correct. So that's my inequality. Now we need to just graph it. So 0, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Both of them are open because we're not including them in our solution. And it's an and, so it's going to be shading in the middle. So just always remember that ands are in and ors will always go out.